Okay, hello everybody. Um, I'm making this video because I need to post an urgent warning to all students and staff using the uh, LEGO Mindstorms robot. Now, basically, it is possible to uh, damage this robot, this part of the robot. And I'll give you an example. This is actually a faulty one now. Now I've got the power on. Now there is charge in this battery, but there's no display. And I don't know if you can hear this, but it's ticking constantly. There's no factory reset on this uh, component. Now these are worth over $400 each, and we have a limited supply. So it's very urgent that you pay attention to this warning and try to understand what I'm explaining here. So let me explain how this fault was caused. So I'm going to switch to the uh, desktop view. Okay, so here we've got our Robot C uh, software. Now, when you initially, when you need to, you've written your software and you need to download the software onto your robot. Uh, you do that by connecting a USB cable uh, from the computer to the robot and you switch on the robot. Now, after that, you select compile and download program. Now, sometimes you may come up with an error message saying incorrect firmware version. Uh, this occurs because there is another program called uh, NTX 2.0 or 2.1 uh, which is also used to program these robots and it uses a different firmware version. A firmware is basically uh, like an operating system for that robot. Okay, So that's why sometimes you need to change the firmware. But the critical thing is if the uh, battery power is not high enough uh, and you try to download the firmware you either will come up with an error message or Worse, uh, you will actually damage the um, semiconductor part of that controller and it will no longer work correctly. Um, so it's absolutely critical that the battery level is good. Now you may have to plug in the charging cable to ensure that this is safe. Um, the second thing is that you must not pull out the USB cable while it is downloading the firmware. Uh, you need to wait until it's restarted and you hear the happy little tune da -da 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 -da, from the robot and then you know everything is good. So please, please, please be careful. You can damage these robots and then they're useless. Alright, so just to reiterate, the, down the firmware download option I'm talking about is here. Download firmware. Now, okay, I'll just change it to physical robot. This, this firmware situation is not valid for the virtual world, it's only valid for the physical robot. So this is where download file. So that option there, that's where you've got to be very careful and make sure the battery power is high and the USB cable is not disconnected. Thank you very much for your time and attention.